And with that, I'll hand it over to Brett to kind of talk through how you go about setting up your products and plans. Thank you, Tyler. All righty. So products and plans is kind of where the rubber meets the road when going ahead and setting up your subscription. So when you click in past the dashboard, you will see products highlighted over on the left hand side, and you're going to get started by adding a product. Now, a product is not an actual subscription. It is kind of a category of subscriptions, if you will. So in this case, we're setting up our car wash services and our car wash subscriptions. Now, it Zanata, for example, we have a set of subscriptions that are for support, and we have a set of subscriptions that are all around uh, health checks and developments. So you, and we categorize these as different products. So there'll be support, support subscriptions, there'll be health check subscriptions, there'll be development subscriptions. So you have these in separate boxes. You can then easily apply different coupons and different add-ons and other things to them. So it's really important that you kind of figure out what are, are my product groups that I'm going to want to have my subscriptions in. In this case, we're just going to start with one, and this is going to be car wash services. So once you've gone ahead and set that up, you'll see that you've got a product called car wash services, and now it is time to add a plan to the car wash services. So once you click on that, you're going to be brought to the add a plan screen. Fairly straightforward. So We've got the bronze plan here. You can give it a plan code. This can be anything you want. I did BP monthly for bronze, pads, bronze plan monthly. Um, and then you give it a unit name. Unit name is really useless. It really doesn't matter. Um, but you can put in an M here for month. You can go ahead and customize these on the back end if you want. Then you go ahead and put your price in and you say it's going to be billed every month. Auto renew is totally canceled. But you have the ability here. You can say every three months every year. There's a lot of different things you can go ahead and set this up. You can expire it after a certain number of billing cycles. Uh, it's, uh, it's very customizable as to how you set it up, what the intervals are, and when it renews, when it cancels, and it doesn't. You also have the ability to go ahead and set up a free trial if you want. So you person can subscribe to this and they're not going to be billed for seven days, 30 days. You can charge a setup fee. So we actually have a subscription around our health checks where we're going to go in and we're going to do a complete review of your entire CRM, set up a whole bunch of reports and get everything ready. So on every month we can tell you what's going on in your CRM. Well, there's $175 setup fee for that because it's relatively inexpensive on a monthly basis. So we've got the setup fee in there. And so you may want to do that depending on the type of product or service you're, you're offering. And then of course you can go ahead with your sales tax and the rest. And very important here, I want to talk about the plan features. Um, this is what shows up in the widget. So you can actually type these in. Now, if under the plan description, you separate everything with pipes up here, um, that also will put everything in a list view. And you can kind of take this and copy it and paste it into your plan features here. And it'll break these down as to individual features. And when Tyler goes through things here in a little bit, that'll make a, a little bit more sense. And now, as you can see, once you save that, you've got a plan. So this is our bronze plan. It's got the code. Um, and oh, I want to go back one more thing. At the a very in the middle here, you'll notice I put I checked include in widget. Really, really important. You check that if you're going to build a widget. We'll cover that a little later. Um, but if you want to have Zoho go ahead and build out your entire subscription page for you, you can just drop in your website. You want to make sure that that box is checked. And now you've got your plan. Well, of course, you've got no image. And Tyler talked about that a little earlier. So you can go ahead and upload an image. And we've uploaded our car wash image. So we've got that plan. Now, of course, we're going to want to have some more. So I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to build out a silver plan. All I did here was change the price. Everything else is the same. Uh, I've got no new features in it at all. Still monthly. And now I'm going to go ahead and build a silver plan out. But I'm going to make it yearly. So as you're building your plans, if you're going to offer a monthly subscription and a yearly subscription, you'll want to build a completely separate plan. So we have a silver plan annual, silver plan monthly, and you'll want to set that up. That is going to be very important, again, when you build out your overall widget so that you can put this all together. So at the end of the day, we went ahead and we built out six plans here. So we've got the six plans, and they are we've got our three monthly plans, our bronze, our silver, and our gold. And then we have got our three annual plans, bronze, silver, and gold. So we have these plans all built out 
each single one for every product category, some of them having different services than the others. Um, and so you really want to make sure that you really distinguish these. Think about them ahead of time. Think about what your pricing is going to be. Oftentimes on an annual plan, people want to give a 10% discount, a 20% discount. In this case, we actually just knocked two months off the price. So you want to kind of think about that ahead of time before you go ahead and you start building these out. Now, once that's all done, well, we need to go ahead and we need to do add-ons and coupons. You can see you've got six plans, but no add-ons and no coupons. What are add-ons and coupons? Well, let's dive into that. So an add-on is uh, something that person can purchase over and above the basic plan. So up in the upper right-hand corner there, you go ahead and you'll click on add-ons. And now you can build an add-on. So I've gone through the car wash, but maybe it just gives me an air drive. But if I want, I want it to be hand dry. So when I pull out of the car wash, I can go ahead and someone's going to go ahead and take care of my car, make it all bright and shiny. So I'm going to go ahead and do a monthly hand dry plan. And we're going to go ahead and make that uh, only apply to the bronze, silver, and gold plans because this is the monthly charge. It's $19.99 a month on top of your regular fee so that you can get your car hand dried. And now go ahead and repeat that twice. So now we've got the hand dry annual plan and the hand dry monthly plan. And those are two add-ons that at checkout, people will be able to add to their subscription. And so very, very straightforward and simple there. Um, now for coupons, a little bit different. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry, there's your plans. By the way, you also want to, can always double check here what they're associated with, whether they're associated with the, gold, the monthly plans or the annual plans. You always want to verify that and make sure these are, these are tight. Now, if you want to add a coupon, it's not up on the main menu. You're going to have to click more and then go ahead and click add coupon. And again, really straightforward. So here we're going to do a new customer discount. It's $29.99 off no matter what plan they buy. It's just a one-time discount. You can make it a forever discount. You can, uh, you know, basically. So by the way, the thing about this is <clears throat> when you set up these discount codes, maybe you want to say that, you um, you know, they're going to use this once on the plan, or it's going to be every time, or there's a limited number of times that they can redeem, redeem this coupon. Um, so you want to be kind of careful when you do that. Normally, you just want to make it one time for a person, and that's going to be their overall, that, that's the number of times they can use it. And then again, you've got to associate with your plans. You can associate it with add-ons. In this case, I'm saying none. And you can also set a validity on this. So it's only good for a year until July 31st, 2022. And you could also set the maximum number of redemptions. So maybe you want to put something out there that says, hey, we've got 50 coupons available and that's all we've got. And it's a limited time offer. Go ahead and subscribe now. Join our plan. There's only 50. And once they're gone, they're gone. And there's, there's, uh, one, then there's one additional thing to kind of make sure you are aware of when you're setting up a coupon. Well, notice here that the way Brett set this up was on purpose, where it's associated with all the plans, but not the add-ons. If you do, it's a little bit of an oddity. So just have it in the back of your mind as you go to set this up. If you've associated a coupon with a plan and an add-on and you apply that coupon to a active subscription that has that plan and has the add-on, the discount will apply on both. So if you're doing something like a flat 10% discount on the whole service, that's perfect. You'd want it to apply to the plan and all of the add-ons. But if you're doing something like this new customer discount, that's a flat rate, well, you don't want to give them $60 off if they opt in for the hand dry, you still just want to give them 30. So if you ever in that case, you're pretty much safe to just have it apply to your plans. Um, because you won't end up double dipping if you do add one of those add ons onto that plan. Yeah, it's uh, super important. If you want an add-on coupon, just change the associated plans to none and then the associated add-ons to the add-ons you want it to be associated with. Exactly. Uh, good catch there. Uh, okay, so now we have set up our plans. You can go ahead and look at your overall product. You can see I've got six plans, two add-ons with one coupon, and you can see all of your add-ons and coupons. They actually rest right underneath all of your overall plans. So it's really straightforward setting these up. It takes no time at all. I think we built out our little car wash and hot dog stand in about uh, 30 minutes, added all of these plans in, added the coupons, added the add-ons, and now you're ready to present them to the public. All right. And with that, we're going to wrap it up. If you have any questions or comments, please head over to designata.com and drop us a line. 
And on the website is where you'll find all of our episodes of our podcast, where we cover all of the weekly news of Zoho every single Monday. Uh, we'll have links out to any of those updates. As always, we'd love if you would follow us on your favorite social media platform and subscribe to us on your favorite podcast app, as well as on YouTube. We'll see you next time.